Hey fellow travelers, ready to uncover the gems of Thailand? Whether you're planning your first trip or looking for new adventures, I'm here to share the top 15 places you must visit. Stick around, because I'm going to share some tips that'll make your journey unforgettable. Number 1. Bangkok. Bangkok isn't just a city, it's an experience. Picture this. Starting your day with a sunrise visit to Wat Arun, where the morning light reflects off the temple's porcelain exterior, making it glow. It's quieter then, almost serene, a perfect contrast to the city's usual hustle. After that, head to Wat Pho to see the giant reclining Buddha, but don't leave without getting a traditional Thai massage at the temple's school. It's a must try. Now, I know shopping can be a bit overwhelming, but here's a tip. Chadu Chak Market is your one-stop shop. It's massive, with over 15,000 stalls, but don't worry. It's organized into sections, so you can navigate it easily. My advice? Go early in the day to avoid the heat and crowds, and always haggle. It's part of the fun. And if you're a foodie, grab some coconut ice cream while you're there. It's a local favorite. In terms of timing, November to February is the best season to visit, as the weather is cool and perfect for exploring. Also, try to stay near the BTS SkyTrain. It's the easiest way to get around the city and saves you from Bangkok's infamous traffic. Number 2. Chiang Mai Chiang Mai is the kind of place that makes you slow down and breathe. Surrounded by misty mountains, this city is steeped in history and culture. A visit to Wat Phra the Doi Suthev is practically a rite of passage. The temple sits atop a mountain, and the view from the top is breathtaking, especially at dawn. Here's a tip. Skip the crowded afternoon visit and head up early in the morning. Not only will you have the place almost to yourself, but you'll also catch the monks in their morning rituals. Another gem is the Elephant Nature Park. This isn't your typical elephant ride attraction. It's a sanctuary for rescued elephants, where you can learn about and interact with these gentle giants in a more ethical way. Trust me, this experience is both humbling and heartwarming. If you're lucky enough to be in Chiang Mai in November, don't miss the Yipeng Lantern Festival. Thousands of lanterns fill the sky, and it's one of the most magical experiences you'll ever have. As for getting here, a quick flight from Bangkok is your best bet. And for accommodation, try staying in the old city. It's close to most attractions and full of charming guest houses that won't break the bank. Number 3. Phuket. Phuket is Thailand's answer to paradise. Imagine yourself on a white sandy beach with the sun setting over the Andaman Sea. It's the kind of place that makes you forget the rest of the world exists. But Phuket is more than just beaches. For a taste of local culture, visit the Phuket Old Town, where you'll find beautifully preserved Sino-Portuguese architecture and some of the best street food on the island. Speaking of food, don't leave without trying the local dish. Mi Hokkien. A delicious noodle dish you won't forget. For beach lovers, Kata and Karen are excellent choices. But if you're looking for something more lively, Patong Beach has a vibrant nightlife scene. Just be ready for the crowds. Here's a money-saving tip. Instead of booking a tour, rent a scooter and explore the island at your own pace. You'll save money and discover hidden gems along the way. And if you're up for an adventure, take a day trip to the Phi, Phi Islands or Phang. Nga by November to April is the best time to visit, with calm seas and sunny days. And if you're into diving or snorkeling, these months offer the best visibility underwater. Number 4. Krabi. Krabi is a dream for nature lovers. Picture this. Towering limestone cliffs, crystal clear waters, and pristine beaches. Rayleigh Beach is a must visit, and here's a tip. Skip the crowded main beach and head to Phra Nang Beach instead. It's just a short walk, and the scenery is even more stunning. Plus, it's perfect for rock climbing if you're up for a challenge. Krabi is also the gateway to some of the most beautiful islands in Thailand. Take a long tail boat to the Phi Phi Islands, where you can explore Maya Bay, the setting for the movie, The Beach. But here's the insider tip. Instead of going on a standard day tour, consider staying overnight on Phi Phi Don. You'll get to experience the islands in the early morning before the crowds arrive, which makes all the difference. For accommodation, Aonang is a great base. It's affordable and has plenty of dining options, plus easy access to the islands. If you're visiting from November to March, you'll catch the best weather, with calm seas perfect for island hopping. And if you're looking to save, skip the touristy restaurants and eat where the locals do. You'll get more authentic food for a fraction of the price. Number 5. Ayutthaya Just a short train ride from Bangkok, Ayutthaya is like stepping back in time. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to ancient temples and ruins that tell the story of Thailand's rich history. Wat Mahathat is one of the most famous, with the iconic Buddha head entwined in tree roots. 
But here's my tip. Don't just stick to the popular spots. Rent a bicycle and explore the lesser known temples at your own pace. You'll find yourself in quieter, more peaceful settings where you can really soak in the history. Another must see is Wat Chai Watanaram, especially at sunset. The light at this time of day gives the ruins a golden hue, making it perfect for photography. And while you're in Ayutthaya, don't miss the chance to take a boat tour around the city's rivers. It's a unique way to see the temples from a different perspective. Ayutthaya is a great day trip, but if you have the time, consider staying overnight. The city has a few charming guest houses that offer a peaceful retreat after a day of exploration. And for food, try the local specialty, Roti Sai Mai, a sweet, sugary treat that's as delicious as it is unique. Don't miss the night market for a taste of local culture and cuisine. Number six, Sukhothai. Sukhothai is often called the birthplace of Thai civilization, and when you visit, you'll understand why. The Sukhothai Historical Park is filled with ancient ruins, each telling a story of Thailand's glorious past. My personal tip? Start your day early to beat the heat in the crowds. The morning light here is perfect for photography, and the cool air makes exploring much more enjoyable. One of the highlights is Wat Mahathat, the park's most impressive temple complex. It's a sprawling site with towering Buddha statues and intricate carvings, all set against a backdrop of serene ponds and lush greenery. But don't just stick to the main sites. Rent a bicycle and explore the park's hidden corners. You'll find smaller, less visited temples that are just as beautiful. If you're interested in local culture, consider visiting during the Loi Krathong Festival in November. The park is transformed into a magical scene with thousands of floating lanterns and traditional performances. Getting to Sukhothai is easy with a short flight from Bangkok, and I recommend staying in one of the boutique hotels near the park for easy access and a more immersive experience. Number 7. Pattaya Pattaya might be famous for its nightlife, but there's a treasure trove of experiences waiting for you beyond the neon lights. Craving some relaxation? Head over to Jomton Beach. It's quieter than the bustling Pattaya Beach, making it the perfect spot to unwind with a book or take a refreshing dip in the ocean. In the mood for some culture? The Sanctuary of Truth is a must visit. This intricately carved wooden temple is a masterpiece, offering a deep dive into Thai culture and beliefs. Adventure seekers, rejoice. Pattaya has a plethora of thrilling activities. Hop on a speedboat to Koh Larn, a charming island just off the coast. It's the perfect day trip for snorkeling, swimming, and savoring fresh seafood right on the beach. Pro tip, visit during weekdays to dodge the weekend crowds and snag the best beach spots. Just a couple of hours from Bangkok, Pattaya is the ideal weekend escape. And if you're on a budget, there are plenty of wallet-friendly accommodations, just a short stroll from the beach. Number 8. Koh Samui. Koh Samui is the kind of tropical paradise that dreams are made of. Picture this. You're lounging under a swaying palm tree on Chowang Beach, the soft white sand beneath your toes, with the sound of gentle waves lapping the shore. The island is known for its luxury resorts. But here's a little tip. There are plenty of charming, budget-friendly bungalows that offer a more authentic island experience without breaking the bank. Don't miss the chance to visit the Big Buddha, a massive golden statue that watches over the island from a small islet. It's particularly beautiful at sunset, and you can find local vendors selling delicious street food nearby. If you're looking for adventure, rent a scooter and explore the island's hidden waterfalls, like Nam Wang. And for an unforgettable day trip, take a boat tour to Ang Thong National Marine Park. The snorkeling and kayaking here are some of the best in Thailand. For the best weather, plan your visit between December and April. And remember, while Koh Samui can get busy, it's easy to find a secluded spot if you're willing to explore a little. Number 9. Koh Phi Phi Koh Phi Phi is often hailed as one of the most beautiful island groups in the world, and it's easy to see why. Imagine yourself arriving at Maya Bay, the very beach made famous by the movie The Beach. The clear turquoise waters and towering limestone cliffs make for a breathtaking scene. But here's my advice. If you want to avoid the crowds, consider staying overnight on Phi Phi Don. This way, you can visit Maya Bay early in the morning or late in the afternoon, when the day trippers have left and the beach feels almost private. The island is also a diver's paradise. The waters around Koh Phi Phi are teeming with vibrant marine life, and there are plenty of dive shops offering trips to the best spots. If diving isn't your thing, you can still enjoy the underwater world by snorkeling in spots like Shark Point. Don't worry, the name sounds scarier than it is. After a day of adventure, head to one of the beach bars for some lively nightlife, where fire shows and bucket drinks are the norm. The best time to visit is between November and April, when the seas are calm and the weather is just right. 
And if you're on a budget, there are plenty of hostels and affordable eateries, so you can enjoy the island without spending a fortune. Number 10. Pai. Pai is the kind of place that makes you want to slow down and just soak in the beauty of life. This small town in northern Thailand is nestled in a lush valley, surrounded by mountains, and offers a completely different vibe from the more touristy spots. Imagine starting your day with a yoga session overlooking the river, followed by a soak in the nearby hot springs. It's the perfect way to unwind and connect with nature. For those who love a bit of adventure, Pai Canyon is a must visit. The dramatic narrow ridges and stunning views make for an unforgettable hike, especially at sunset. And if you're into photography, the early morning mist over the mountains creates a magical atmosphere that's perfect for capturing those serene moments. Another tip, don't miss out on the local food scene. Pai's night market is packed with delicious street food. Try the cow soy, a northern Thai noodle dish that's both spicy and flavorful. Getting to Pai is part of the adventure itself, with a winding mountain road that offers incredible views. If you're prone to motion sickness, make sure to prepare accordingly. The best time to visit is from November to February, when the weather is cool and the landscapes are lush and green. And the great thing about Pai is that it's still relatively affordable, with plenty of budget-friendly guest houses that make it easy to extend your stay. Number 11. Kanchanaburi. Kanchanaburi is a destination that offers a powerful blend of history and nature. Imagine standing on the bridge over the River Kwai, a place steeped in World War II history, and feeling the weight of the stories that unfolded here. The Death Railway, built by prisoners of war, is a somber yet essential part of any visit, offering a deep dive into the past. But there's also so much natural beauty to explore in Kanchanaburi. One of my personal favorites is Arawan National Park. The highlight here is the seven-tiered Erewhon waterfall, where you can swim in crystal-clear pools surrounded by lush jungle. It's like something out of a fairy tale. If you're up for a bit of adventure, rent a bike and explore the park at your own pace. Just make sure to bring your swimsuit. Another tip, consider staying in a floating raft house on the River Kwai. It's a unique experience that offers a peaceful retreat after a day of exploring. Kanchanaburi is easily accessible by train from Bangkok, which adds to the adventure. The best time to visit is during the cooler months, from November to February. And if you're on a budget, Kanchanaburi offers a range of affordable accommodations and local eateries where you can enjoy delicious Thai food without spending a lot. It's a destination that offers both reflection and relaxation, all wrapped up in stunning natural beauty. Number 12. Hua Hin. Hua Hin is the perfect blend of relaxation and royal charm. Imagine a peaceful seaside town with long stretches of sandy beaches where you can unwind and enjoy the sound of the waves. Hua Hin has been a favorite getaway for Thai royalty, and you can see why. The town is home to the Klai Kangwon Palace, a royal residence that you can admire from the outside as you stroll along the beach. One of my personal tips is to visit Khao Sam Roy Yot National Park, just a short drive from Hua Hin. This park is a hidden gem, with dramatic limestone mountains, serene wetlands, and the impressive Phraya Nakhon Cave, which houses a royal pavilion illuminated by a natural skylight. It's an adventure that feels like you're discovering a secret world. For those looking for a bit of culture, don't miss the Hua Hin Night Market, where you can sample some of the best street food in town. Try the fresh seafood, it's a local specialty, and you won't be disappointed. Hua Hin is just a few hours drive from Bangkok, making it an easy and relaxing escape from the city. The best time to visit is from November to February, when the weather is cool and perfect for exploring. And while Hua Hin has some luxurious resorts, there are also plenty of mid-range and budget options, so there's something for everyone. Number 13. Khao Sok National Park. Khao Sok National Park is one of Thailand's most breathtaking natural wonders. Imagine exploring a lush rainforest that's older than the Amazon, filled with towering limestone karsts and emerald green lakes. The park's Chao Lan Lake is a sight to behold, with its calm waters reflecting the surrounding mountains like a mirror. Here's my advice. Stay in one of the floating bungalows on the lake. Waking up to the sound of nature and stepping out onto the water is an experience you'll never forget. Khao Sok is also a haven for wildlife lovers. Keep your eyes peeled for gibbons, hornbills, and even wild elephants if you're lucky. For a truly immersive experience, take a guided night safari or a jungle trek. The park is easily accessible from Phuket or Surat Thani, making it a great addition to any Thailand itinerary. If you're visiting between December and April, you'll enjoy the best weather, but the rainy season has its own charm, with lush greenery and fewer tourists. 
a personal tip, pack light, breathable clothing, and good hiking shoes. The trails can be challenging, but the rewards, like hidden waterfalls and ancient trees, are well worth the effort. And while Khao Sok is a bit off the beaten path, it's still affordable, with a range of accommodations that cater to different budgets. It's the perfect place to disconnect from the hustle and reconnect with nature. Number 14. Chiang Rai Chiang Rai is a city that surprises you with its blend of traditional and contemporary art. Imagine walking up to the White Temple, or Wat Rong Khun, a dazzling structure that's more than just a temple. It's a work of art. The intricate designs and mirrored surfaces make it feel like something out of a dream. But here's my tip. Visit early in the morning to avoid the crowds and get the best light for photos. Chiang Rai is also home to the Blue Temple, Wat Rong Sui Ten, a newer but equally stunning temple with its deep blue interiors and golden accents. And if you're interested in exploring the region's cultural history, the Golden Triangle is a must-see. This is where Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar meet, and you can even take a boat ride along the Mekong River for a unique perspective on this historic area. Getting to Chiang Rai is easy with a short flight from Bangkok or Chiang Mai. Once here, renting a scooter is an excellent way to explore at your own pace. For the best experience, visit between November and February when the weather is cool and pleasant. And if you're traveling on a budget, Chiang Rai is incredibly affordable, with many guest houses and local eateries that won't strain your wallet. It's a city that blends tradition with innovation, offering a unique slice of Thailand's rich cultural tapestry. Number 15. Koh Tao. Koh Tao is an island that seems tailor-made for those who love the sea. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves gently lapping against the shore, the sun rising over crystal clear waters that are perfect for a morning dive. Koh Tao is renowned for its diving spots. And whether you're a seasoned diver or a complete beginner, this island has something for you. My advice? Sign up for a dive course. Koh Tao is one of the most affordable places in the world to get certified. And the underwater world here is absolutely stunning. But even if diving isn't your thing, there's plenty to enjoy. Rent a scooter and explore the island's quiet beaches like Ao Lok or Tanoti Bay, where you can snorkel straight from the shore. And if you're up for a bit of a challenge, hike up to the John Suan viewpoint for panoramic views of the island that are truly breathtaking. For those who enjoy the nightlife, Seri Beach is the place to be. The beach bars here are lively, and it's easy to make new friends as you sip a cocktail and watch the sunset. Koh Tao is best visited between March and September, when the seas are calm and visibility for diving is at its best. And don't worry about breaking the bank, Koh Tao has a range of accommodations from budget hostels to mid-range bungalows, so you can enjoy paradise without spending a fortune. It's an island that invites you to slow down, breathe deep, and immerse yourself in the beauty of nature. And there you have it, 15 of the best places to visit in Thailand, each offering its own unique slice of paradise. Whether you're seeking adventure, relaxation, history or culture, Thailand has something for everyone. So why wait? Start planning your trip today, and don't forget to check the link in the description for more tips and details. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Safe travels!